Chi Omega Nu Gamma, uh, Gamma sorority in uh, Penn State decided to have a Mexican-themed party. This is never going to turn out well. Yeah. Uh, as you can imagine, it didn't turn out well. Um, all members decided to wear ponchos, sombreros, and mustaches, and two women held signs, one of which read, Will Molan for uh, weed and beer, and the other, I don't cut grass, I smoke it. Okay. Yeah, that was a bad idea. <laughs> all right, now, look. The question, of course, is how bad an idea, right? Look, it's going to get you in trouble. It's going to cause controversy. It's going to be a lot of drama on campus, et cetera, et cetera, right? Uh, and so it's, it's not worth it. It's dumb, yada, yada. But how offensive is it? It's uh, pretty damn offensive. I uh -huh. mean, it, it, it's, for some reason, whenever people say racist things against Latinos, Mexicans, everyone's like, oh, but they're just Mexicans and Latinos. Like, they haven't fought back against the hatred enough, in my opinion. So people think that they'll get a pass. So the sombreros and the mustaches and the ponchos and the ridiculous signs trying to indicate that they're all like people who do landscaping and people who smoke pot, that's extremely, I mean. I love the euphemism, landscaping. <laughs> okay, all right. But listen, look, no, the reason it's a little different in my mind is, mm -hmm. look, I, you're right in that if they had done, uh, hey, it's make fun of black night at the sorority and we all come in blackface and then we put up signs saying I'll smoke crack or whatever, right? Yeah, that would have been hideous. Mm -hmm. so, but the thing is, if you do it about a nationality, well, I mean, like, for example, if you did it about Turks, I always think, like, how would I feel if they did it about my thing, right? And everybody came in fezes and mustaches. I know, but, but and Turkish... And said, I'll smoke a hookah and, you know, and... Turkish people don't face the same obstacles in society, in, US, in the U.S., as I w Mexicans do, for instance. There sure. are some significant stereotypes that Mexicans have to deal with that hinder opportunities, you know? I, I wish we had a Mexican correspondent here who could speak to this. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right, Jesus Godoy, obviously you will be the sole judge in this case. Uh, you get to uh, judge them guilty or give them a pardon. Go. I think I will give them a pardon. Deal. Oh, it, it's is not, he not as merciful. Bad. I think the signs kind of are teetering on bad. Yeah, I totally agree. And, with you. and I think if they would have taken that even to another level, I don't know how they do that, but I, I, I feel fine with the sombreros and the ponchos. I don't think it's a big deal to be honest. Yeah, I, it, to me, this, uh, the, those sound a lot like the fez and the mustache, which is just funny and who cares, right? Mm -hmm. you're, you're totally right about the science. And I don't uh, cut grass, I smoke it. It's not even that bad. Like, I can let that one go. I can yeah, go. the other one. The it's the other one, mow. the mowing the lawn yeah. one. Mm -hmm. That goes over the line. But it, it's, it doesn't really matter, because even if you meant it as harmless fun, I, you know, it didn't look like any of them were Mexicans. <laughs> but even if, yeah. some of, if some of the girls were there were Mexican and everybody's having fun, it's still a bad idea because you're going to get in trouble. 